in this lecture we're going to discuss about binding now einstein analytic gives you very cool tool to create dashboard components on the fly but what happens if your requirement is dynamic or there's something which you cannot achieve by using analytic out of box to do that we make use of binding functions provided by analytic for our example today we have taken the data set which is available on data.world and this particular data set show us the information about the bank customer what is the credit score they have what from which geography they come from what is their gender do they have card or not and whether they are still the member or they have exit now we are going to download this particular CSV and we will upload it as a data set. Once it has been uploaded as a data set in analytic, we are going to create a dashboard. Let's take for example, we go ahead and create a dashboard, select blank dashboard. We will drag down, we'll create the first chart. We'll say, let it group by gender. Then we will create the next chart will say let's group it by geography and then we will create the third chart we will say let's group whether they are still member or not now we will view it now it may come to you that how about we combine all these three graphs into one graph and give that flexibility to user to select the what kind of data he wants to look at. To do that, we will make use of binding. Also, let me just edit and change one of the chart type for over here, I'll just change it to column. And for this one, I'll change it to donut. So now if I want to look at it, I have got three different charts over here and I'm going to combine these three into one using binding. So let's go back to analytics studio. We're going to create a new dashboard, a blank dashboard. We are going to drag and drop the chart, say chart, select the data set, say bar and over here we'll say let it be gender done. Now very first step for creating binding would be to create a step. Okay. So let's create a step. We're going to create a static step. We'll give a static step a name as it could be any name. I'll give global group and we will specify the display value for that particular group. Let the first value be gender. Second value be geography. Third value be exited. We'll add these three values. And then we will also, we will provide a toggle on top of it. And we'll drag and drop over here. For this, we we'll go back to step and we will say single selection is required. Let's look over here. We have got various groups over here, gender, geography, excited, but nothing happens on the chart below it. Now we are going to bind these two together. To do that, click edit and now we are going to click on control E. Once I do that, Let's look at the group parameter over here. Right now it is grouping by gender. This entire thing I'm going to replace with a binding function. Let me copy paste this function. And let me just replace this step name with global group one 
I'll explain you also what this mean. What this mean is that group it based on which value. Pick that value from this particular static step. So I have got static step by name gender, geography and excited. And whatever is a value, plus that value in that group over here. Apart from that, we have to go back and make the column map as null. So if I go over here and make this as null. Over here also, I will go and make it as null. Now let's say done over here. And let's look over. So I'll say geography. Now it changes. Excited. It now changes. To reiterate, we have binded the various group with one particular chart. Now, how about we wanted to change the chart type? To do that, we will again create a step. Custom value will give name as chart type. For example, the first one would be horizontal bar value is H bar. Second one is vertical bar value would be V bar. And the third one I will say as donut value is pi. Say add, say create. Again, I will make use of toggle. I will place it over here. I will drag and drop. In the step, I will make it as single sink required. And let's look over here. When I select gender vertical bar, nothing happens. I now want to change the visualization over here. So to do that, again, I am going to click on Control E. And now I am going to go and do a binding for visualization. So if I look over here, let me search for this particular one. Now, what I'll do, I'll go over here and wherever I have got visualization type as H bar, I'm going to dynamically pass what kind of graph needs to be created. To do that, let me just copy paste. Go back over here. Now step name again from where, from where I need to pass that value. So I have created a step by name chart one. Let's go back and I'll show you that step also. Chart type one. Say done. Say preview. Now the charts are changing. To reiterate, we had three graphs with different data, different type. We binded it together using the function provided by analytic.